being here. Oh, thank you. Do I know you? Or I feel like, like something happened when you're moving. I'm like, are we sleeping or something? Okay, I forget a lot of stuff, so it's okay. <laughs> I was like, what should make you excited? It must have been good. Yep. Was I good? Was I good? How good was I was good, right? I was pretty good. <laughs> I want to be a lesbian so bad. Is it all good? Oh my god. I want to so bad. Did you see how excited I got? I forgot the rest of you were here. I was like, there's a girl growing for me. And I just got this like, great, is that what it's like to be a dude? All of a sudden, my head just went like this. I want to go over there. It must be so hard to be a man. Oh my god. Because we don't get that often. Ooh, not that hasn't happened in a while. Well, you do have to. You, okay, I'm sorry. I'm way off track. I apologize. You guys are like the first people I've talked to today. I'm very lonely. Um, <laughs> seriously, though. Okay, we'll talk later. <laughs> I would love to be a lesbian. I get caught staring at boobs all the time. It's such a problem. How do you guys make it through the day? Because I'm straight, I know. You're like, is she? I'm, no, I'm not. I'm stuck. I know, unfortunately. I'm straight. I'm one of those. I would like to do, I don't know, it's just that the bottom half is a little bit trickier. Okay? You see boobs, you're like, yummy! And they're like, oh, ooh, there's another package. Um, I tried it once. I tried it once. I was a lesbian once, just for like four hours. <laughs> then the ecstasy wore off. <laughs> I was like, I am not going back down there again. <laughs> Holy shit. Have any of you ladies tried this? It's fucking terrifying. I mean, unless you're into that, then I'm sure it's a great party. <laughs> but like, as a straight woman, I thought it would be so easy. I'm like, how hard could it be? Right? Just a little like... <laughs> I don't know what you do. <laughs> you can show me later. <laughs> so much harder than it looks. I feel like every straight woman should have to try it at least just once. Because you'll never complain about men again. <laughs> right? Because you hear a lot of girls complain. Like some girls will be like, why can't you find my cheese spot? I'm like, you try to find it, bitch. I own one of them. I still don't know what's happening down there. I mean, blowjobs are tough, but at least they're right in your face. <laughs> Like, men just have to, like, dive into, like, some weird cage. <laughs> like, that's like when I was a kid and I'd go to a haunted house and I should, like, stick my hand into those random holes. I'm like, is that eyeballs? Great. What is that? You guys didn't do that? <laughs> is that, like, a poor white girl thing? <laughs> your mom didn't make your haunted house group? Okay. This is, not, this is not totally off the rails. This isn't how I expected to start. And then you did the woos and all of a sudden I just went into lesbian. Anyway, guys, I'm happy to be here. That's what I was going to start with. I was going to come out and be like, Hi, Sandals, I'm so happy to be here. And then you wooed me, and now I know what it's like to have a dick. Okay. <laughs> I do have penis envy. Sometimes I want one of those. But I get what you think. You would never trade it. I don't even think it's penis envy. I think it's more like ball envy. It's really... Yeah, I just really want some ball. I know that sounds weird. You've probably never heard anyone say that before. I'm ball envy. I'll tell you why, because you guys are like, what the hell would you want those things? I'll tell you why, because I itch too. <laughs> like, it is never, ever socially acceptable for me to just be like, so, you guys live here. Are you nervous? Like, no, I'm fine. <laughs> you 
really, I'm just like, oh, if I could just get some friction. <laughs> it's so much better. Anyway, I am here from LA, so it's fun. I like San Jose. I'm staying at the fair. Oh, I should have said that. Don't stop me. Just kidding. I can't. <laughs> That's my new pickup line. What do you think? I'm really bad at talking to men or people in general. So. <laughs> Now if I see somebody I like across a bar, instead of trying to talk to him, I just look at him like... <laughs> you think, it'll work, right? Either the guy will be like, she's really into me, or she's having a stroke. <laughs> no, I'm happy to be here, I drove here, but I get to stay, which is my favorite thing to do. I like to perform and then stay, because I don't, I like drinking, so... You okay? All right, I just want to check on you. We're a close crowd. We're going to get to know each other very well. If you need anything, let me know. I got some water here. It's just water. Just kidding. I don't want alcohol. But I live in LA. You can't drink and drive. It's a problem. Well, I guess anywhere it's a problem. It's more of a problem for me there because that's where I live. And I do not drink and drive because I'm very responsible. Just kidding. It's just my car doesn't start unless I blow into it. <laughs> Thank you. My parents are so proud. Things are going great. <laughs> I didn't used to drink so much. It's just I tried to get into a relationship. I just became an alcoholic instead. Is that normal? Is that a normal reaction to intimacy? And I was just like, fuck, I can't do this sober. <laughs> too long, because I've been single my whole life. You can't wait till almost 40, and then be like, oh, I'm going to be intimate now. <laughs> and there's just like a lifetime of one night stands, like, we have to look at each other? <laughs> Nobody ever told me that relationships are really just like the world's longest staring contest. <laughs> right? Because eventually you run out of shit to talk about, and then you're like, you're still here? <laughs> you should do some shots. <laughs> Let's get dizzy. I'm single again though, don't worry. It didn't work out. Surprise. I'm single again. <laughs> it's good. I don't mind being single. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I was excited about it at first. You know when you first get out of a relationship and you're just like, yeah. Who's next? <laughs> and then I realized how old I am and I was just like, oh shit. <laughs> I don't know if I want to show this to anybody new. I think it's been a couple of years. I'm like, oh, I think that looks a little different. <laughs> but it's not bad. I'm like, it's still on the inside. <laughs> it's just I never realized that like I hit a certain age, and for some reason my genitals would just start getting a tan. <laughs> like, I'm just like, it's a little darker than I used to be. What's happening? I don't think it's been in the song. Am I cooking bananas now? <laughs> Sorry, too soon. Is there not enough white people in here? <laughs> what do we got? Latina? Let's see how that would happen. Yeah, imagine if you're suddenly started turning white. You'd be like, oh, oh. I've got to change my diet. This isn't right. White people do have problems. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, it's all good. I don't know. I'm fucking broke. I should stop partying. Is there an age limit to this behavior? I just party all the time. Whenever I think I should stop partying, I always get that mentality where I'm like, you gotta party like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> what about dying tomorrow? It's like, shit, I should have had that last shot of fireball. <laughs> now I'm like 40, I'm like, fuck these tomorrow, I'll just keep coming. <laughs> Broke. I'm so broke, I still go shopping at my parents' house when they're not home. <laughs> Anybody else? I'm like, they're not going to miss that roll of toilet paper. <laughs> like, they shop at Costco. I'm just tired of stealing napkins from 7-Eleven every time I run out of toilet paper. I'm like, I'll take a large cup of coffee and 50 napkins. I might spill it on the way out. I don't need a lot of money. I just want enough money that I can like forget where I put it. Because I know some wealthy people, and I go to their house, and you just see bills just laying around. Like, really? You know, it's just collecting dust? Like, I've opened up a drawer and just, you know, like, ugh. I 
know every dollar, I know every quarter, I'm like, it's laundry day! And it's like, okay, I've gone too far. Like, no, we have more money than that, okay. I just want to know what it's like to shop somewhere where I don't have to like pull a muscle like separating the clothes. I don't know if any of you shop at Goodwill. The cheaper the clothes, the more they like slam that shit together. <laughs> like you go in there and just like, oh, can we just see what this dress looks like? <laughs> then you go into like a really expensive dress shop and it's just like one piece of clothing. <laughs> <laughs> They're not all going to be winners, guys. They're not all going to be winners. How are you doing? Are you guys looking for some love? What are you doing? Are you, are you friends? Are you co-workers? On the date? Okay. I didn't think so. I just figured it's 2018. Anything can happen. Well, thank you for sitting up front. A lot of people get scared to sit up front. I don't pick on people. I can talk to you because you look friendly and I feel like we're going to get to know each other. Very well. What I'm trying to say is, I just want to be a whore. <laughs> That's my new goal. I think once you get 40, fuck it! Right, sir? You look like you approve. I'm gonna go off your response. I mean, I'm fucking broke. I haven't liked most of the guys I slept with anyway. So I'm like, if you could just leave some money. <laughs> By the bedside table. Am I the only girl that has that thought at the end of the month? I'm just like, shit, if I had just charged, I wouldn't be standing in line at Coinstar right now trying to pay my rent. Coinstar is where you take your coins, sir, and you put them into a machine and they give you cash. And then you can get gas to put in your car. I feel like you probably don't know what I'm talking about. You look pretty successful. Are you successful? Or is it just the way you spread your legs that made me think you're successful? He's sitting here with his arms crossed and his legs spread like, I own this bitch. Are you Mr. Improv? You don't have to play, I'm scared. Your shorts are long enough, it's okay. You're not exposing yourself. You got money? I babysit. You got kids? I can babysit for you, baby. I'm here for another day. I do babysit. I won't babysit any kid that's like three years old and still in diapers, but that shit's creepy. Right? Because they talk to you. I was changing this kid's diaper. He's like, you missed a spot. Absolutely true. I've never been on, you're like, yeah, we know. <laughs> it's sad, pathetic, and true. 
I've never been on a date with. I'm, it's just because I'm not good at talking to people, so I'm like, I can't. I feel like dates are almost like interviews. <laughs> if I make a date with somebody, I feel like I'm just like scheduling an interview to just talk to them. But yes, I'm from California, uh huh, and I just. Uh -huh. Plus, it gets weird because this is the way I dress all the time. <laughs> My girlfriends always tell me, like, if you want to pick up a man, you gotta, like, put on a push-up bra. Like, show some cleavage. I'm like, I'm wearing a push-up bra. They're <laughs> <laughs> like, ah. No. I just feel like it's kind of deceptive. Because I'm like, what's the point of me? Like, smashing my tiny boobs together. Like, pushing them up to my chin. <laughs> just so some guy might want to take me home. <laughs> then we get back to his house. It's like, hey. Take off my bra. Sight. <laughs> Joke's on you, buddy. No titty fucking tonight. <laughs> I mean, we could, but we're gonna have to use your boobs. <laughs> these are not gonna work. Size does not. No kidding. Size doesn't matter. Do you guys think size matters? Do you guys worry about the size here? Do you guys worry about that stuff? <laughs> I don't think size matters if you ask me. You know what does matter? Hardness. <laughs> that is why I suggest if any of you ladies are single in here, do not date a vegan. <laughs> like it makes sense, doesn't it? Like you gotta take in muscle and blood. That's what he did. Right? I didn't go to college, like I said. You gotta take in muscle and blood to make muscle and blood. That's what that is, right? There's no bone down there. I'm just saying, I don't think you can get hard off soy milk and lima beans. <laughs> I mean, I'm no doctor. There's just things I think about on the bus. Because I dated this vegan one, and like, he could get hard, but he could never get like, fully you know? <laughs> and you're like, I don't know, maybe you need to rub a little more. <laughs> I'm just like, no. Like, there's nothing I can do with your tofu dick. <laughs> I eat a cow. At least some cheese. Who doesn't like cheese? It's freaking delicious. Are you guys married? How long? You've been married a long time? Oh, that's great! Good for you! You say that in Barry. It's funny. No, that's great! Don't worry. I'm, I wish I, I'm just really bad at relationships. I think I have a fear of intimacy. I'm like long, I have a fear of long term relationships. It's great that you've been together that long. I have a, I like, I'm, I'm, I'm scared of being with somebody so long that you like end up sitting on the same side of the booth every time you go out. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you guys do this? <laughs> it's two different types. It's either like really young people who just want to touch each other all the time. Where people that have been married for like 50, 60 years, and you see them out to eat, and they're both just facing straight ahead. <laughs> like, can I please just enjoy this one meal? <laughs> Without looking at your face. <laughs> I feel like the woman's still trying to talk, and the guy's just like, oh, yeah, I don't know, oh, I slept weird, I can't talk. <laughs> I just wonder if they have sex the same way, just facing straight ahead, just like, ah!
me and Jesus, we bonded. But you see a guy with a huge cross around his neck, you're like, well, he killed a bitch. <laughs> like, something is going on, because that thing looks heavy. Have you guys been partying all day, or what? What's happening over here? Yeah, I can tell. It's okay, don't feel bad. Sir, you take a nap. I don't give a shit. I'm just happy you're here. He looks tired, but I don't even care. Sometimes I don't care. I'm just happy that you showed up. You made the effort, and you're here. Why were you, why were you partying all day? What happened? Did you start? You didn't start for the soccer. You don't give a shit about France. <laughs> Just Sunday fun day. Getting ready for football. You gotta do a little prep. You gotta start. Are you a football guy? The Bears? Oh really? I can hear that. What are most of you guys? Oakland? The, the Raiders? Niners? I'm sorry. I don't know where I am. I'm, I'm close to Oakland. We consider sleeping with you after this. So. I don't want to sleep with you, I just want to touch your boot. Can we just hug? Can we just hug really tightly after the show? I mean, I'll, I'll try not to make it awkward. It's what? Oh, can I give her a long hug? Do I have your permission? Thank you. Oh, group? Oh, shit. All right. Pull up my pants. I love football. I get really excited for football season. It's fun, right? I feel like there's a different energy in the air as soon as football starts. It's just like, there's excitement. I know. I get really horny over football. I love it. Guys get all weird about it, too. They'll be like, I love football. They're like, yeah, I'm like, do you really? They always like to get combative with me. They're like, can you name like five players? No, I can't. Is it okay? Can I just enjoy this? Like, to me, it's the same way as you guys like going to a strip club. Like, that's my entertainment. I just want to watch it. Like, I love going to sports bars and just watching men, like, shove cheeseburgers in their mouth. Like, to me, that's really hot. I don't know, maybe I have a food fetish. <laughs> it's just like men just, like, shove it, just like, ah, and there's just, like, testosterone. But I imagine that's the way you go to a strip club and just see, like, they get titties, right? <laughs> like, we both just want to put stuff in our mouth that we're going to feel guilty about the next day. Uh, okay. Oh, you lifted up your shirt. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of a cheeseburger. It's kind of the same thing. <laughs> Where did you find him? <laughs> I'm just so glad there's some diversity in here. I get really nervous. It's all like the same. Do there are there any black guys in here? I love black guys. <laughs> I got those lips, right? Yeah! Mexicans have good lips, too. You ever try and kiss a white boy with no lips? And it's just like, oh. I can't wait to lick your teeth later on. Thank you a lot. I like Mexican. I never date a Mexican though. You guys drink a lot. I don't know if I can keep up. I love Mexicans, but I don't know. I love alcohol. I'm just really bad at it. Hence the three mug shots. Uh, <laughs> Mexicans are the best drinkers. I'm Irish. We're supposed to be the best. And now Mexicans are the best at holding their liquor. You guys know how to hold your liquor better than anybody else. I think your parents train you from birth. <laughs> like how to function intoxicated, right? Like I never had a piñata growing up. Your parents take you at a very young age and they like blindfold you. And then spin you around till you're dizzy. And then give you a bat. <laughs> They're just like, make some shit happen. <laughs> Bring us back some candy. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I worked, at a wait I worked as a waitress for many years, and my last job was uh, at a Mexican restaurant called El Cholo for six years. I love, have you heard of it? It's a real thing. Some people think I'm making that it up. It's a real thing. <laughs> Southern California. Well, because it was started in 1923, and Cholo meant farmer. So they're not being, that's what I'm, okay, I just want to give a little backstory so you're not thinking I'm being weird. I mean, I am weird, but. It was in Santa Monica, so it's like a lot of white people. <laughs> But we would get calls like every other week from like some white woman that would just be like, I got food poisoning from your restaurant. 
I'm like, no, you didn't. <laughs> you just ate Mexican food. <laughs> always wash his hands, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I was not it. Anybody's worked in a restaurant. <laughs> I got written up for sexual harassment, though, at El Cholo. For real. I got a file. It's gonna follow me for the rest of my life. <laughs> I got written up for sexual harassment at El Cholo. Mexican restaurant. I'm like, how is this possible? Like, didn't Mexicans practically invent sexual? <laughs> I'm not complaining. I don't mind being touched at work. I'm just saying it's a little unfair that, like, <laughs> I got caught. Like, they, 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 they never get caught. They're, like, so spy about it. Because every time I walk into the kitchen, and just be like, eh. Psst. Did you put me away? <laughs> and then one day I got all cocky. I'm just like, oh yeah? That's in a cool open day. And they're like, uh, Jen, we're going to need to see you in the office. <laughs> that is not acceptable here in El Cholo. I shouldn't raise my arms. <laughs> I might be going through menopause, what do you think? Is it too soon? No, thank you guys. Thank you for all the people yelling out, no, it's not too soon. You guys are like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Those lights are pretty bright, you can see your wrinkles. I thought I might be going through menopause, so I Googled it. But like, it turns out the symptoms from menopause are like the same as alcoholism. <laughs> Sweating. Yeah, I'm sweating all the time. <laughs> I feel like the older I get, like the more time I spend just like plugging holes. I'm just like, what's leaking? <laughs> like my nose is always running for some reason. I don't know what that's about. I had a hard time dancing recently. That's a sad day, the first time that happens. I was at a bar and the Beastie Boys came on. I got so excited. <laughs> I was just like, yeah! And I was like, oh, 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 I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I guess you guys are too young to understand. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> I'm not that old. I'm just, I'm getting to that age where like I start realizing stuff about my childhood. Like I'll just be driving down the freeway and like random thoughts will like pop in my head. And I feel like there's some memories that take like 20 or 30 years. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, that's what that was. <laughs> like, I just recently realized that, like, the Vaseline on the back of my parents' bed was not meant for my lips. <laughs>
know when you pull into a place and you see that 40 year old dude just on a BMX that's like way too small for him? <laughs> He's just like cruising around like doing circles. You're like, what child did you steal that bike from? <laughs> You know it's especially bad when he's followed up like a guy in a wheelchair. But who doesn't really need to be in a wheelchair? He just has that one leg kicking out. <laughs> yeah, you're right. This is where the drugs are. So we're gonna get high, I guess. I don't do pot. I wish I did. I got really excited, but it became illegal. Anybody else care? I don't know. I don't even do it. I tried smoking pot once when I was younger, and then I just like passed out. <laughs> woke up in the kitty litter box, it was really embarrassing. <laughs> I did get excited when they made it legal though, like I went to the store, I'm like, I'm gonna get a brownie. Anytime you can eat it, right? It seems more excited. Maybe it's a girl thing, but put it in my mouth. <laughs> I ate like half a pot brownie and then just spent like four hours just trying to figure out how time started. <laughs> I'm just like, at one point there was no time. Who started time? Like, was there one person that was like, it's 12, like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Your reaction is definitely like, yeah, you were pretty fucking fun. <laughs> don't ever have sex on a pop brownie. You won't know who the fuck you're with. <laughs> if you ever want to have sex with one person physically, but like ten mentally, eat a pop brownie. <laughs> right? I'm in the middle of sex, I was just like, all right, is that Josh from high school? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> and then it's that paranoid, I'm like, is anybody feeding the cows out there? In those fields? What's happening? We can't survive on grass. <laughs> you ever see those big cat birds? I love cows so much more than dogs. I hate dogs. I know, it's not a popular opinion. Are you guys dog people? I hate dogs. I don't hate dogs. I'm going to rephrase that. I don't hate dogs. I don't like, I don't like that dogs are so important now. It makes me angry, and I'm not sure. I had a dog for 12 years. She was great. She died. So now I'm going to talk shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the dog. That there's now. Dogs are so important now that it's like, if I'm not a fan of them, I'm a fucking asshole. Like, I can say I hate squirrels, pig, anything. But you say you don't like dog. I shouldn't use the word hate. If I say, I don't have a liking of dog, people are like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Go to hell. I just feel like dogs should be held to the same etiquette as humans. Like, I'm tired of going to people's houses who have big dogs, and the dog will just jump up and, like, freaking molest me. And they're like, oh, he likes you. <laughs> so it's okay because he's a dog? What if your husband did that? Would that be okay? Like, I'm just supposed to get molested by your dog because it's a dog? This isn't even a joke. I don't know. I just have this anger. I have a lot of anger. I don't know what's wrong with me. I have too much anger. I just think I need more friends. You guys on Facebook? Should we be friends? How old does that make me? Are there young people in here? The young people are always like, Snapchat. I can't do it. I can't take that many pictures of myself. It's freaking depressing. Every time I turn the... You ever like turn on your camera and you think you're going to take a picture of something else and it's your face instead? And I go like, like oh god, <laughs> it scares me. <laughs> so scary. I'm still, I'm still on Facebook. I did recently switch to Instagram just so I wouldn't have to read anymore. <laughs> so much reading on Facebook. Is it just me or has Facebook become like the world's longest suicide note? <laughs> like, why did everybody get so depressed on there? It used to be that people would write like a one or two line status update. Now it's just like paragraph after paragraph. I'm just like, what? Why are you sad? I'm like, I'm gonna put on my reading glasses just to get through this shit. It's either that or it's people asking for prayers. But like, not even prayers for themselves. They're like, can you please pray for my Aunt Betty up in Minnesota? No, I can't. I don't have time. <laughs> like, Sunday only comes like once a week. Like, how many prayers am I supposed to rack up before I go to church? Just kidding, I don't go to church. <laughs> I just feel like the time it took you to write out that status update, you could have been down on your own knees. <coughs> Praying. Don't get dirty, sir. <laughs> I feel like people are sitting at home just like, oh hey, I'm gonna go get some brunch, but can you put in these prayers for me? I've gone too far. Anyway, let's get back to the whore thing, sir. Right? Can we just do it? What do you think? You ever been a pimp? Yeah. 
Who is that? Can't see any of you in case you're wondering. I mean, I can see these people, but you guys are just head, little floating head. Some of them lighter than others. I know that I do feel like it's hard to be single and not be a whore. I mean, right? Come on. Are there any ladies in here who will back me up? I don't mean a whore for money. It's just I feel like, I just feel like I don't know someone's real personality until I have sex with them. Or maybe that's just my favorite way to get to know someone's real. <laughs> like I think a good way to tell if a guy watches too much porn, like the first time I have sex with him, is if he talks about his penis in the third person. <laughs> I'll explain. Oh, you do that? He woke up. <laughs> Yeah, sort of. No, because I had sex with this guy, and he was just like, I don't know, like, <laughs> sorry, I have scoliosis, I can't move. <laughs> no, he was like, I don't know, do you like Dave's dick? <laughs> I was just like, uh, the one that's inside of me? I got only three days, I can be more specific. <laughs> So bad, I just left my own apartment. <laughs> Sometimes you have to. Right? Like he wasn't leaving. I'm like, you're not gonna go. I'm gonna get out of here. It wasn't that the sex was so bad. It's just this guy was trying to make eye contact with me like the whole time. I mean, that's just rude. <laughs> right? On a one night stand. Like we're not trying to make babies here. He's like this close to my face. <laughs> and in the middle of sex, he was like, I need to look into your eyes in order to come. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you plus <laughs> Like, who says that? <laughs> like, it's a one night stand. Like, slept me over and let's do this properly. <laughs> crazy and it happens all the time. <laughs> Guys love to do that because they know that I have no answer for it. Like that's your trump card. You don't have to the word trump, but that's your card. Like, like I have no answer. Like as women, I can't defend myself. If I try to defend myself, I just look crazier. And I'm like, I'm not fucking crazy. Like, all right, I'm just going to go. Like, if you guys ever want to drive a girl insane, just wait till she's like already a little pissed off and almost at your door. And then just be like, hey, one more question before you go. <laughs> Why are you so freaking crazy? I don't know. <laughs> Why do your balls smell like Cheerios? <laughs> it's a mystery to us all. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It'll just stop a guy for a second. Because <laughs> then he'll be like, what?
a souvenir cup, put it in there, and take that home. Will you think of me every time you drink out of it? Thank you. 